And now, and now some battery facts. Uh, lead acid batteries prefer to be full. And when, when we have a, a lead acid conversion or a lead acid uh, electric car like the uh, GM EV1 uh, with superior Panasonic batteries, we prefer to, uh, to leave the batteries full, not empty, because lead acid batteries like to be full. When you leave them depleted, it's a problem. Now, nickel metal hydride batteries, on the other hand, are completely different. When you, when you deplete them, they actually prefer to be, to be less than full. When they're full, they discharge because there's some pressure that builds up inside. So uh, depleting a, a plug-in serial hybrid battery with nickel metal hydride batteries down to empty is actually a good thing. We normally keep the RAV4EV uh, at 20 or 30 or 40 percent full, and we only charge it up uh, to full when we actually have to go a long distance. So uh, the plug-in serial hybrid is perfect for nickel metal hydride batteries. Also, nickel metal hydride batteries are not, not poisonous like nickel cadmium, and they don't have a, a uh, cold problem. They, they, they don't like heat. Too much heat can actually hurt them. And when you fully charge them, there's a, a discharge with heat. So if the ambient temperature is too hot, you can actually damage the batteries. So heat is the enemy of nickel metal hydride batteries, the friend of lead acid batteries, and just the opposite for cold. With a, a, a lead acid conversion, you often have to have a heater to heat the batteries up. With a nickel metal hydride vehicle, you actually don't want heat. You want to keep them cold and you want to keep them less than fully charged. So plug-in serial hybrid is perfect for that because we, we don't hardly ever want the nickel metal hydride batteries full and when you're driving, let's say, a car like the Volt with nickel batteries, you, you want to have the batteries run down so that you can absorb some uh, uh, regenerative braking power. And uh, the, the engine generator, when it batteries ran down on those few occasions, would put the energy back into the, the regenerative braking shunt, would either charge the batteries, or if there were a lot of regenerative braking at the same time, or just run the car directly. And the batteries would stay depleted until you came back to the house and charged on your solar system all over again. 